Welcome to another episode of <laughs> Now, as we told you recently, we seem to be moving to a new studio here in Camden Town. Because sometimes you got to go. there with the track You Gotta Go and you'll find them in Camden Town this week on Saturday the 29th of June at the O2 Forum now this Sunday we'd recommend you head down to the Jazz Cafe for some mellow tunes sit back in the comfortable lounge and relax who knows what new music you may discover So, we're through to Monday, the 1st of July. Now I'm hoping that you, me and the weather will all be fine.
the track Must I Wait by Yumi and the Weather and you don't have to wait too long because they're on this Monday the 1st of July at the Black Heart right here in Camden Town so we're on to this Tuesday and I think it's about time you headed down to Dingwalls <laughs> track Shouting at the Wall by the band Flatworms and you'll find them at Dingwalls this Tuesday the 2nd of July you don't get many worms who have their own apartment but these are Flatworms okay So what's on this Wednesday, the 3rd of July? Well, just a short distance here from Camden Town is the 100 Club in Oxford Circus. And this Wednesday, the 3rd of July, features someone called Frankie, but not from the Saturdays. This Frankie is Frankie Swain. She's on at the 100 Club this Wednesday. And a short time ago, we caught up with her on a sunny day in Camden Town. And here's the story. Okay, so I'm here with Frankie Swain in Camden Town today. Hi Frankie, how's it going? Hi, I'm good, thanks. You? 
We're good, thanks. Thanks for coming down to speak to Camden Town Radio today. No worries. It's my pleasure to be here in such nice weather as well. It is, yes. A bit breezy, a bit breezy today, but plenty of sunshine. So, Yeah. <laughs> now, I believe you've travelled in from Kent today, is that right? Yeah, yeah, from um, Kent. I live literally just on the outskirts of London. All right. So it's, really, it's not far for me to get here, so it's quite a nice, easy, relaxing journey for me. Yes. Have you been wandering around Camden Town before you've come here then? Um, not before I came here. Right. We was running just a little bit late. Ah, right. So, so, but the plan is to have a good old wander around yes. afterwards. I've seen little bits, like little shops that I want to poke my head in. Ah, right. Already. Yes, well, there's lots going on at the Camden Market uh, just over the way there. So. Yeah, I haven't got quite as far as that cause I obviously stopped here along the way. Yes. <laughs> so that would be my next stop. <laughs> ah, right. Great, yes. Okay, now I believe you had a new single that came out on the 2nd of April. I did, yeah, um, Hook, Line and Sinker. It's, uh, it's done really well, actually, like surprisingly well. We got, um, I say surprisingly well, in my opinion it's a good song. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, it got uh, playlisted by RTE1, right. which is Ireland's equivalent to like Radio 1. All right. And that, and, you know, I was on a playlist with uh, people like Westlife. Yes. And well, that's, that was a bit of a crazy one for yes. me. And uh, <laughs> my dad's friend messaged him the other day and said um, he was sitting out in Spain oh, right. enjoying his holiday and he heard the song on the radio. Oh, right. That so uh, we've gone international. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yes. Do you have any links with Ireland? Have you played gigs over there? Or? Um, so, I, to be honest, I hadn't been to Ireland so uh, before uh, last year. Yes. And I went there for the first time, essentially... Um, a guy called uh, Dave Brown, he was in a band called Picture House, uh, really big in Ireland. Yes. And um, he came over to London to hear me sing. All right. And he obviously decided there was something worth working with. Yes. And I went over there and we started writing songs with um, Jan O'Brien as well. And, yeah, it all kind of stemmed from there, and that's where Hook, Line and Sinker was created. Oh, and right. So a little bit of an Irish connection. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting, yes. And what's the story behind the single itself, then? Uh, it's kind of about when you are fully aware that you shouldn't be entertaining the idea of someone, yes. let alone talking to them or anything like that, but there is right. something about them that they've got you, essentially. They... hooks you in, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> yes, yes, well, that makes sense, yes. Yes, and is it a song that you wrote yourself or co-wrote? Uh, we co-wrote it. So it was a song that I had... Uh, I had uh, hook, line and sinker, I think we're on to a winner. Yes. I had that idea for about two years. Oh, right. And it was one of them songs that I was, I was completely sure that there was something worth doing with it, but yes. I just couldn't get any further than that chorus. Yes. So um, when I went over for a writing session with Dave and Jan, I, uh, I sort of showed it to them and I was like, I'm sure it can be good. Like, I'm almost positive of that. And they really helped me navigate where to take it and yes. create the verses and everything else around that chorus. Okay, yes. So yes, it was yes. a real relief when it was finally written and done. Yes, yes. All right. Great. And in terms of your general songwriting process, are you somebody who you like to write with co-writers or sometimes by yourself? What sort of... <laughs> well, actually, format? working with um, Dave and Jan was the first time I'd ever had a writing session and co-written anything. Oh, so right. it was okay. a little yes. bit terrifying for right. me going all the way to Ireland <laughs> yes. to do, do that. that. Yes. Yes. But, um, no, I, I think I definitely... I still write by myself yeah. um, and that and work on ideas by myself. I definitely right. like co-writing. I'm yeah. sure of that now. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I guess it's good to do both, really. <laughs> yeah. Best of both worlds, yes. <laughs> yes. And I believe that your single was mastered in L.A. as well. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, I think the guy that mastered it's done quite a few big names, I believe. Yes, produced and mixed by Dave and Yam with Pete Glenister. Yeah, yeah, Pete has done... Um, well, he worked with uh, Kirsty McCall yes. for a really long time. and uh, He did uh, Darius and a few other big names, and so it was an absolute pleasure to work with him. And it was really nice as well because we sort of... Uh, had it all roughly mixed so we yes. could just hear how it sounded. Yes. And um, then we sent it off to Pete and when we got it back it was just like it was a whole other song sort of thing. He really oh, right. lifted it to a new level and it yes. was incredible. Yes, and I believe he's also worked with the likes of Corona and Alison Moye as well. Yeah, yeah, so he knows what he's doing. Yes. <laughs> Great. Now, the single, Hook, Line and Sinker, is that going to be part of an album or...? 
Uh, yeah, we're still currently writing more and more songs, so right. we will hopefully be releasing an album soon. I can't say when. No? <laughs> so watch this space, it's in progress. Yeah, yes. exactly. Great. Now, in terms of your live gigs, I think you have a gig coming up at the Hunters Club later in the month, or in July, I think. Yeah, yeah, July the 3rd, we, uh, I'll be doing a headline show at yes. the 100 Club, oh, so right. that's really exciting there's so many yes like famous people have played there it's like walking through like there the are. hall of fame or something absolutely yes yes an HZ of rock and roll has played in the hundred club for sure yeah yeah so it's <laughs> yeah. it's a really exciting time i can't yes. wait for it that's great now as we're here in camden town today have you been gigging in camden town at all or? um i actually i think it was last year I did a, a gig at the Hawley Arms. Oh, yes. It's just around the corner from here, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, so that was really great. Again, one of them venues where, like, you know, Angie Winehouse people, so many That's people right. have played at. And yes. So... All right, must have been a good experience. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was a lot of fun. Yes. OK, uh, do you want to give us a bit of background about how you started out in music? Um, well, I first started writing songs when I was about 11. Right. And uh, my mum had essentially... Moved me schools, moved me out of my school. Oh, right, okay. And I was not happy about that. No. So. <laughs> All very teen dramatics. All right, but that got you into songwriting. Yeah, 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 it got me into songwriting. It was a bit of a weird one because um, no one in my family is particularly musical at right. all. Oh, right. And so they're not really sure where I came from. Ah, right. Okay. So the thing, I just sort of appeared one day and I was like, Mum, Dad, I'm going to do music. And I was like, right, right okay. <laughs> Perhaps there was a gene a few generations ago. Yeah. That come, come back. Um, <laughs> That's what we think. We're not sure who it yeah, came from, right, but... <laughs> yes. I see. So you started songwriting early on, and then it sort of grew from there? Yeah, yeah. So I started songwriting, and then um, I wanted to start a company and myself uh, with some sort of instrument, and yeah. I decided on guitar, and yes. it just... It all kind of stems from then, and I've sort of been yeah. just working more and more on it, and hopefully getting better, I assume. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So, so, in terms of on stage, is it usually yourself with a guitar? Yeah, yeah. Um, I normally play with a guitar. I've just started working with um, a guitarist as well, so right. to add another little dynamic there. Okay. And um, a keyboardist. Right. So, so, we're getting ourselves a little band together, a nice little yes. trio going on. <laughs> I see, so you would be able to do acoustic and electric sets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, that sounds good. Great. Now, in terms of your music, where's the best place online for people to find out about your music? Um, I would have a look at my website, frankieswain.com. Yeah. Uh, I think all of the links to my social medias and everything you need to find is on there, or uh, Spotify. I'm all over that, so... Yes. Okay, that's great. Uh, SoundCloud as well? Yep, SoundCloud, Spotify, pretty much anywhere you should be able to find a person. Yes. I'll be lurking in some <laughs> sort of corner. Right, okay, that's great. Now, I believe you have a little bit of an academic background as well at uh, university, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I did... Um, Commercial music performance at right. Canterbury Christchurch oh, right. yeah. University. I went to uh, the Broadstairs campus, right. yes. so it was an, it was an odd one because it's kind of this tiny little sleepy village for people who don't know where Broadstairs is. It's along yes. the coast of Kent. Oh yes, yes. And it is like a real seaside town. And, That's right. And yes. so yes. it was an odd place to sort of be studying commercial music. Yes. <laughs> yeah, although a nice place, I guess, being on the coast. Yeah, yeah, definitely nice. I mean, pretty much every time the sun came out, we were on the beach. Right. Probably when we should have been doing our work. But... <laughs> okay. Did, did you get to do any gigs in and around the seaside towns? Because I know there's quite a lot of activity around. Yeah, yeah. I've done um, sort of all along that coast I've kind of done. Yeah. Yeah, all different places like Folkestone, Broadstairs, Ramsgate, Margate, oh, yes. uh, Canterbury. Yes. All along there, especially when I was at uni, because they were easy places for me to get to. Right. All right. So, so you built up knowledge about the industry, but also gained experience performing at the same time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're such fun little places, like, you know, nice little cosy songwriter nights to yes. play. All right, yes, yes. <laughs> now, in terms of playing in London, are there any venues that you would particularly like to play at in the future? Oh, um, Perhaps the Roundhouse, just down the road from here? Yeah, that would definitely be on the list. Yeah. Um, I would say the Borderline. I played that recently, though, but that was on my list of venues yes. to play at, as oh, was right. the 100 Club. Yes, yes. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. <laughs> yes, well, that's Put a me few, on the spot now. That's a few good ones that you mentioned there. So, uh, yes, that's great. Now, in terms of further singles, do you have any 
other singles coming out anytime soon? Uh, yeah, we'll be releasing a single uh, called Emergency Alarms. Yes. Uh, that'll be released uh, over the next couple of months, I believe. Oh, right. So a little summer single for everyone. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. Yes. Okay, now in terms of your musical style, would you describe yourself as a, a singer-songwriter? or? I, yeah, I think I would. It's, it's so hard for me to like kind of define where yeah. I sit because I kind of just write what I want to write. Right, yes. So it can sort of go for a little bit pop, a little bit folky. Okay, yes. It can go kind of, it swings yeah. around depending on how I'm feeling. Right, yes. But, um, yes. Yeah, I guess singer-songwriter in the broadest sense. Yes, with a few be... different styles yeah. <laughs> mixed in, yes. Well, in terms of styles then, who would you say your main influences are? Um, I would say people like George Ezra. Yes. That sort of style. Okay, yes. You know, um, I've been listening to a lot of uh, First Aid Kit at the moment. Right. Really into them. The harmonies are beautiful. Right. And yeah, a few people like that. Yes. So you're quite into sort of vocal harmonies and things? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. So speaking of, of vocal harmonies and things, are you quite keen to work in the studio as well as perform live? Oh, yeah. See, I, I, I've been asked before, like, do you like performing live or yeah. working in studios? And to be honest, it's really split down the middle for right. me. Oh, right, so so I love, <laughs> Yeah, I love creating the songs and recording them and yeah. watching them grow into this brand new product. Yes. But I also love going out on stage and being like, look what I did, look what As I well. did. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Well, no, that's good. I mean, I know yeah. not, not everybody enjoys both. Some people don't like the studio, but I think it's it's good to like both parts yeah. <laughs> of the process. Yes. <laughs> All right, that's great. Okay. Uh, now the name Frankie. I'm trying to think of any other Frankies, but I can think of a Frankie from the Saturdays. Yep. There is one in that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, um, I used to love the Saturdays when I was younger. Oh, right. I really did. Yeah. Always jealous of the fact that she was called Frankie because right. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm the only Frankie that I know. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> How dare you take my name? <laughs> yes, is it the same spelling? I think it might be. Yeah, yeah, same yes. spelling. Oh, right, okay. Yes. Well, maybe you can, uh, actually, I'm not sure if they're together as a band, but maybe you can do a gig with some of the girls from the band because I think some of them may be solo artists now. Yeah, I think it's, is it Una? Yes. Uh, she's doing a lot of country work at the moment, isn't she? That's right, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, oh, well, if she's looking to work with a different Frankie, then... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it could yeah. be a little niche for her. She only works with Frankies. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Right, and it is Saturday today as well. So. It is, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's great. Well, thanks very much, Frankie, for speaking to us today on Camden Town Radio. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure to be here. You're welcome. It's been great to have you on the show, and we'll remind the audience of your next gig coming up on the 3rd of July at the 100 Club. Yep, tickets are on sale now, so definitely be there. It'll be a night to remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, wish you the best of luck with that gig and also with future recordings. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, before you go, Frankie, we'd just like to do a feature on the show at this stage called Favourite Ten. Are you OK to continue with that? Yeah, sure. OK. I'm right. a bit nervous. <laughs> right. It's just... OK, you ready to go? Yep, I'm ready for this. OK, here we go. All right, uh, favourite book? Uh, 14 Our Stars. Okay, uh, favourite film? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Yeah. Uh, favourite type of weather? Oh, sunny. Okay. Favourite place to go on holiday? Uh, Florida. Okay. Uh, come back to favourite book? Uh, was it favourite film or book? Oh, yes. I think you're right. Film. <laughs> come back to favourite film? Um, uh, go Gone Girl. All right, great. Uh, favourite TV programme? Uh, friends. Uh, favourite type of fruit? Fruit. Yes. Uh, strawberries. Okay. Uh, favourite terrain, countryside or town? Uh, countryside. Okay. Uh, favourite type of tree? Oak. Okay. Uh, water or land? Land. Okay. And starter or dessert? Oh, God. I can't choose. <laughs> You can have both. Yeah, both. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thanks, Frankie. You managed to select your favourite tent in less than one minute. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Keep rocking. Keep talking, talking. And I keep listening, listening. And every bone in my body knows you got me. You got me. How do you do? you do to me you got me spinning spinning and everybody in the room knows you got me you got me you got me hook line and sinker finger on to in and out uh oh on to in and out
Sinker by the artist Frankie Swain, who is on at the 100 Club in Oxford Circus this Wednesday, the 3rd of July. And thanks to Frankie for joining us there on Camden Town Radio. Now, also coming up at the 100 Club, but later in the year, in September or a band called the Celtic Social Club. We'll be featuring them again near the time, but for now, here's one of their tracks.
generation must have invented its own cure for the blues. I give it something to think about, something to do, something to get involved in, you know? And like punk, we did that for hours. And today they're raving, you know, going to raids and freaking stuff. Every generation must have its own golden day, you know? We have to bring Rebel Rock. The track, Remember Joe Strummer, by the band The Celtic Social Club, who were on at their 100 Club later in the year, in September. And of course, Joe Strummer was from the band The Clash, who themselves used to play at the 100 Club. Okay. Well, it's been a great week of music again here in Camden Town. And... This Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's the Inversions Festival at the Roundhouse. And that features artists such as Robert Glasper, Chris Dave, Derek Hodge, and Van Morrison, amongst others. And as we approach our 50th show, We'd like to thank you, the audience, for listening to us and supporting the station. We've grown our listenership, and that's thanks to all of you. And, as we may have not told you that lately, we'd like to say thanks. Right now. My name's Howard J. Foster. This has been... (laughs) Keep rocking.
Keep rocking. 